With the advent of 5G, the influence of networks on warfighting has become stronger than ever. Thomas Rondeau, Principal Director of Future G and 5G for the Office of the Under Secretary of Defense for Research and Engineering at the Department of Defense, delivered a keynote address in which he shared the department's strategy to harness the benefits of 5G and Future G networks. Integral Federal has booked a contract to provide the Office of Naval Intelligence with maritime-focused analytic intelligence support services over a five-year period. General Motors and Samsung SDI plan to make an investment of more than $3 billion to establish a new facility in the U.S. to produce battery cells for electric vehicles. Jeffrey Weiss, a more than 17-year federal contracting professional, and former Group Vice President of Finance and Business Operations at ASRC Federal, has been appointed as Chief Financial Officer of Clarent. Indus Technology will provide support services to the Naval Information Warfare Systems Command's C4I Program Executive Office, under a potential five-year, $82 million contract. NASA awarded contracts to 12 companies under the announcement of collaboration opportunity to help advance its moon to Mars mission objectives. Gregory Bowman, Chief Strategy Officer and Senior Vice President at Siemens Government Technologies, highlighted an open digital business platform that the company designed to support the modernization of the Department of Defense's organic industrial base. Kerasoft Technology and Body Metrics will distribute the latter's wellness pulse oximeter and sleep monitoring device ring to customers in the federal market. Join GovkinWire's Events Healthcare IT, Digital Transformation Forum on May 17, 2023. Visit govconwire.com slash events. A 5G satellite built by Barcelona, Spain-based startup Satelliet launched on April 15 from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Inmarsat's government business arm has released the ultra-lightweight version of its Alban Airborne Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance User Terminal.